I'm Archana. Welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a halwa that is traditionally served as a prasad in the Gurudwara. This halwa is most often made with whole wheat flour, but today I'm going to show you how to combine it with ragi flour, that's also known as finger millet flour. So let's dive right in to see how to make this delicious halwa. Below are the ingredients needed to make the ragi and the whole wheat flour halwa. Into a heavy bottom saucepan, add in two and a half cups of water. To this, add in one cup of sugar and stir until it dissolves in the water. For every one cup of flour, you approximately use two and a half cups of water. And it is important to use the same measure as you used for the flour. So I'm measuring my flour in these cups and it's important to use the same measure cup to measure the amount of water that goes into the halwa. Once the sugar is melted, place it on simmer on another stove. Next, place another pan on medium heat where we will make the ragi wheat halwa. Into the pan add half a cup of ragi flour, half a cup of whole wheat flour, and finally, a cup of ghee. The measure is for every cup of flour you add, you add a cup of ghee. Roast the flour along with the ghee on low heat until you get a roasted aroma and the flour lightly browns. This takes about 10 minutes and sometimes more. Please avoid turning the heat to high to fasten the process. The slow process helps in gradual roasting of the flour that will give the desired texture to the halwa. After about 10 minutes and the roasted aromas come out, add in the hot sugar water mixture to the flour. You will notice the mixture sizzling as you add in the water to the flour. This will give the right texture to the wheat ragi halwa. Stir continuously as you pour the water and continue to stir the halwa until it thickens and all the water is absorbed for about 5 minutes. Notice that the halwa has a grainy texture and is not gooey. This is the right texture that we are looking for in the halwa. Once the halwa is ready after 5 minutes of sautéing, Add in a quarter cup of blanched almonds that are sliced and half a cup of cardamom powder. Stir the ragi wheat halwa for another couple of minutes until it is all combined. You can now serve the ragi wheat halwa as a snack for kids or as a dessert for your parties. I love it. The flavors of cardamom and the crunchiness of the almonds are simply delicious. Do give this traditional halwa a try in your kitchen and when you do, don't forget to give feedback in the comments below. Until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.